My name is Lee Darrick. I'm a Yorta Yorta, Tarul, Wilway and Muri Muri woman. Um, I'm an artist. I've been doing art for nearly 20 years now. So I suppose the designs that we put on the cloaks, um, which are like the old cloak designs, they relate to creation stories or family stories or cultural sites that we know of or have some contact with. Um, they're a way for people to reconnect with their country in a very powerful cultural, spiritual way. So this one here, this is just a little children's cloak. It's for a child of about 12 months old. Um, it's worn like this. There. This is a really old panel from the Yorta Yorta cloak from 1853. This is just all the lines and symbols that represent our family and all the different generations of our family. Um, adults and children. This one symbolises um, where I grew up, which is um, near the Murray River or Dungala. So that's the river line, and these in Victoria diagonal lines like that are land. So that's the land. I think cloaks are one of our most sacred objects as Aboriginal people of the southeast. So in re in bringing back the wearing and, and making of cloaks, it has given people quite clearly um, a lot more self-confidence and self-esteem, like people actually noticeably change when they put on a cloak. Um, that part of it's been really good, it's a powerful way of healing in our community and um, I've got a real commitment to continuing that. When you put a cloak on someone, whether it's a cloak that they've made or it's a cloak particularly if it relates to their particular country, it gives people pride and they actually um, stiffen their back and look quite regal and um, take on a completely different demeanour and that is a really powerful thing. Mm.